Hello, I'm Neil Shackleton, the technical support and training manager for Power Electrics. Today we're going to be looking at an FG Wilson standard diesel genset and identifying the main components. The first component we need to identify is the fuel tank. It's a safe storage facility for storing fuel often enough to make the genset run at full load for 8 hours. The fuel supply for the engine needs to be kept clean. This engine has onboard filters fitted here which are capable of taking the fuel down to a level of 2 microns of impurities. This will ensure that there are no foreign bodies in the combustion process. For combustion of the fuel to take place, we need to introduce oxygen. Air is taken from the air filter and purified to make sure there are no foreign bodies that can cause damage in the compression process. Here we have the MCCB, the moulded case circuit breaker. Its job is to isolate the generator from faults on the customer's distribution system or to protect the alternator from overload and other fault conditions. It can also be used for connection to the customer's load with a sensible buzz bar arrangement beneath with a glam plate underneath the power tower so we can terminate our cables properly. For successful starting of the generator, we need to have a, a battery system. The batteries are here. The batteries need to be maintained well so they are ensured that they can overcome the uh, restrictions of the valves, the pistons and the engine movement to get it started. Okay, this component is the control panel. This one is an FG Wilson Powers of 1.1 Plus. It has auto start capability along with manual stopping and starting if required. Thank you for watching today's video. If you would like any further information, please contact Power Electrics.